good morning guys welcome to Tuesday today we are going out the girls and I so I decided to wear a dress I don't know if you guys can see it all the way anyway it's a long dress I decided to wear it today before we were farmers I used to before we got into horses I used to always wear dresses and skirts always like that was my normal attire anyways Sam and I I just came back from doing the goats Sam was in the field doing the horses and we kind of crossed paths and he stood, stood there and stared at me and said, why are you wearing a dress? I said, that is so rude. Why can't you say, oh, you look nice today. Something like kind instead of, uh, why are you wearing a dress? So then his puppy, Kirby, heard me and she came running as fast as she could. She saw me, she stopped halfway, crouched down like she was terrified and stared at me. And then you could see the second she realized it was me and she cocked her head and I swear she was like, uh, why are you wearing a dress? That was the moment that I knew Sam and Kirby were meant for one another. We have three weeks, you guys, three weeks until school starts again. So today we are implementing a stage one of back to school. And for this project, we will be taking Gabby's car. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. That's what I said. Not only are we taking Gabby's car, but I am issuing a challenge. We have to be where we're going at 9.45. 9.45 is 9.07. And we're gonna see if it's true that we're always that I'm always late. And Gabby, you can't sabotage me. Considering we're taking Gabby's car and she's gonna drive. Speed the whole time. Well, don't speed. First, I have to stop and get money, and the girls need to stop and get coffee. TM accessed is now down to 920. Go. We're gonna be late. We're gonna be late if they get coffee. We're gonna be late. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's because the person ahead of me. It's because they are the first one in the car. It's them. They make me late. We gotta hurry. Just to close the door. So technically. Yeah, you also got in and it took an hour to close the door. It's because there was a 25 cents on the ground outside. I found it, so I had to stop and pick it up. Are we that broke? No, but it, God sends you money. You don't send it away. You don't ignore it's it. Be there when you get back. Comment below. It would you, if you found twenty five cents on the ground outside your door, your car door. Would you pick it up? Of course you would pick it up. Nine forty seven, you guys. Two minutes late, but we're here. So we are home now. We went to get the girls' haircut for school. You can't really tell, but they both got their haircut really nice. They both got a lot of layers. So, so like, see how thick Sophie's hair is right there? She cut off a whole head of hair. And when she swept it up, she swept it up and she's like, you know, I cut a lot of people's hair that is, don't even have this much hair, the stuff on the floor on their head. And Sophie still has 10 times more hair on her head. Yeah, but it's still like, it does feel thin, it's still thick though. Move away, little chicken, we're leaving. We don't want you to get hurt. We are headed out now. What time is it? 11.30. We're headed to the sales barn. I don't know why. I feel like, yeah, it's probably late, but I also feel like we're done. Like, it, there'd have to be something really good there for us to get it. Like, maybe uh, a, couple a, couple <laughs> a couple of horses? Did you say horses? Horses are always late, last, so. so. You wanna see if there's any horses? So, we, I would get like, a turkey. I'd get another turkey. I'd get baby turkeys and bring them inside. And then now that I know what turkeys are like so sweet, I would like love them up and treat them like babies. And then, yeah, I want to eat them. Why am I even doing that? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're just waiting for Gabby and we're headed out to the sales barn and we will let you know what they have there. So today we're going to go and look for the duck guy. We're gonna, um, the duck and the chicken guy, and we're gonna check inside first to see if there's any horses. Sam thinks that there's gonna be horses. I'll call you if there's horses. Right. There were nothing, there was nothing there, just cows. And look it, I hurt my finger and now I'm paranoid. I cut it, now I'm gonna go home and sterilize the sucker. Even the chicken guy wasn't there, it sucked. There were some really cute day old baby cows though. Right, Molly? See, every, it just depends. Like, today, Molly came. I always take Ellie when I go places that she can go. I don't take her there, though. But you came, didn't you? And you like me today. Why do you like me? It's because Ellie's not here? Yeah. Because they smell like goats? Oh yeah, there were some goats, and there were two really cute baby girls. Oh, it is gorgeous outside. So, we washed Sophie's girth last night. This is really cool. You can take this, oh, it needs to come off. 
but it can come off so that it can dry properly. I'm sad the chicken guy wasn't there because somehow in my heart, I plan to get more turkeys. <laughs> Just from getting in the car, somehow I convinced myself I was gonna get some more turkeys. I love my turkeys. I love them. Hi, babies. Hi, turkeys. That's my Clarabelle right there. Hello. She's looking cute. Don't cut the short. No, do not do it. She would look so cute though. Maybe if you did it, she wouldn't like you as much anymore. <laughs> it's probably nice to get all this hot hair away from It's her. almost winter. She's going to miss it. She likes that hair. Keeps the bugs from biting her neck. She'd be pretty sad without that hair. Never cut is this. Yeah, don't ever cut that. If you cut it straight across, looks like a bowl cut. Like yeah. Did you try that before when you were little? Cutting her mane? Yeah, cutting anybody's mane. I mean, forelock, no. Forelock, I mean. You've cut horse forelocks. Have I? Yes. I don't remember who, but you have, and it's really <laughs> ugly. Anyway, so uh, yesterday I posted about how this pony, this miniature horse, is super bonded with Sophie. She and care less than no horses in here. Yeah, my friend was saying that it's more likely that she's herd bound to the horses, but she's not. She was eight months old when we got her, and she was separate from the horses for a little while while we like quarantined her and stuff. And her and Sophie are close. Sophie's done a lot of stuff with this horse and she loves all of the horses. She doesn't really love Storm that much. She likes Storm except she, she chases her. She likes Storm but he chases her but she... I mean, she chases everyone else. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the turkeys can hear me in here. <laughs> See we're just a too loving family. I guess there's bad points to loving somebody too much. See my turkeys? <laughs> She's like, I'm coming, Laura. Wait for me. <laughs> so my friend suggested that we could have somebody else handle honey. And we all handle honey. It's just that she's bonded with Sophie. And, you know, I just think we're going to find a different way to deal with it. I don't want to take away that bond because... I think there's there's benefits to a bond like that and I know that there's this whole thing about imprinting on horses and what are you what do you have what is that listen you little monkey she says, but we're gonna figure it out I was talking to Sophie's coach and I said is this normal for a baby and they said that Honey's just extra. <laughs> Could care less. Her, both her parents are Appaloosas. Appaloosas, is our, Appaloosas can have some quirky behavior, but for sure, Sophie's done a really good job bonding with her. She could care less. And I think even more so, when Sophie takes Honey out, she gets to do fun things, like she gets to eat the grass and she gets treats, and, and those are the things that Honey's missing and upset about when she sees Sophie in the field and she can't get to Sophie. So my friend said, like, let her ride Storm and see if she does the same thing. Well, she absolutely does do the same thing because one day Sophie was lunging Storm and Honey pushed underneath the fence and went in there and started lunging herself. <laughs> and Storm started chasing her. And then Storm started chasing her. She defin it's definitely a Sophie thing. I love her. I love her shape. I love everything about her. But they have no withers. Feel. There's nothing here. Well, she's young still. Willow, Willow doesn't have any either. Oh, really? She is beautiful. Sophie showed me a picture the other day of a miniature horse. And I said, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. We should buy that one. And it was honey. <laughs> she's a goofball. We got so lucky. We got so lucky with her. We got so lucky with all... Sophie, you are lucky. You are a lucky girl. Yeah. She's kind of snotty. She's so <laughs> Yeah, she loves to be with Sophie. But I was thinking we should take our horses for a walk. Like, just let them eat grass and stuff because... Well, yeah, come on. I think Gabby should come too. Oh, uh, the other day I was talking to my friend and she was saying that, you know, like... I was saying how, like, Gabby rode Storm a couple weeks ago and he was <laughs> over it. Like, he, they were just fighting each other. And they always fight each other. They have for years. And then, like, a couple days later my friend came over and... And then we let, oh, that's a cute goat. We should buy that goat. That's Cricket. 
I know. Send me those pictures. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. Send me those, Sophie, right now. Send me that. So anyways, and she was saying like, you know, Storm's only 17, like that's the thing, he's only 17. He's still good, he can do anything. But she said, you know, like think about all the things he has done, like he has done a lot. He's done dressage, he's done Western pleasure, like years of this stuff, and he's done jumping. And jumping is one of the things that really ages your body even more than anything else, I feel like. And he probably is good to do many more years but he's probably feeling like he's done. Like he wants to just chill. He wants to take those little kids. Like he wants little kids to sit on him and take them around on little pony rides. Like that's what he loves. Like that's, he's comfortable doing that. And that's what he likes. So he's not used up and finished, but I don't think he wants to go hard anymore. And I, I think that's okay. So I was thinking today, like we should take our horses because having a horse appreciation day. When we first started this channel, a lot of kids, like 14 and 15 year old girls were saying, you know, like, listen to the horse, listen to the horse, ask them if they want to do stuff. And if they do, then do it. If they don't, then don't. And I found that such a weird concept because that's not how our introduction to horses was. But as I get older and as I watch our horses get older, I see the value in that. I really see the beauty in that. Are you mad that your girl went? <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? You're fine. She's coming back, she's gone pee. I thought that we could take all of our horses, our riding horses, and let them eat grass. What about her? I did something with Lady yesterday. It's Honey's turn, so I'm taking Honey. All right. Well, Lady, I'm sad for you. You don't get to come. I'm gonna try non <laughs> you gotta go walking for yours. I don't know. He's out there eating grass. Anyway, I think our grass is getting close to being finished. We've been feeding hay for the last week or so. So we're gonna take them into a nice fresh field and hand graze them. Sophie says that she hates having more than one horse because now it's hard for her to know when we... Honey, Penny just threw her halter, stuck her, shoved her head in the halter too. This is what's gonna happen. Look, look what's gonna happen. Your horse, I saw her too. I watched. All right, let's go, love. Oh wait, we gotta wait for Gabby. Let's go pick your feet. She always gets confused about this door. Come on, we're gonna go eat grass. Come on, come on, couple steps. That's a girl, that's a girl. It's because, whoa. She went through there one day with a saddle on and she hasn't forgotten it. it. The saddle just barely hit the wall and she was freaked out. All right, we gotta wait for Gabby. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. Let's see who's sad. <laughs> Sophie and I feel bad for the ones that are sad. Gracie needs to go though, because Gracie never gets to go. And poor lady. Penny's getting excited. She's like, whoa, where are we going? She's like, I want the tall grass. <laughs> Can you walk? Yes, I'm trying. There we go. Look at that field, Penny. Come on, we gotta move. Allie! <laughs> I love watching her run through the grass. It's taller than her. Yeah. Go ahead. I turned my pony so well, they don't even eat right away. <laughs> Actually, aww. That's Gracie? Because her baby's Yeah. Gracie's sad. What's your favorite color of horse? Palomina, what's your favorite color of horse? Chestnut. Chestnut? Oh, well then your next horse is gonna be a chestnut. I thought you were gonna say bay. I know she likes chestnut mares. Oh, now a lady's on the run. That's how she loses her shoe, I bet ya. We might have to make two trips and bring everybody. Look, she's like hugging next to me, and Willow's like, okay, for The minis really don't need a lot of grass. Feels nice, huh? To have nice fresh grass. All that alfalfa in there. This is our dream. Long ago, when we started this channel, this is our dream. We didn't even have a single horse. Got lady trying to push the fence down. Yeah, 
Honey will do anything not to go back. This is why we don't get Appaloosas. Thank you. You are looking so good, Stormy boy. You are looking happy and healthy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, that would be such a good spot to take a picture. No. Yes. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll do our Christmas picture here. I've like been scoping out pictures to take our Christmas pictures this year. I love that. I might do my like Halloween pictures with my family in here or not my my Thanksgiving pictures <laughs> I love it isn't that so cute do start our ducks aren't mature yet they're really young they probably won't lay eggs until February or March last night Sam and Sophie heard a noise in the bush I'm gonna show you where a minute in a minute and we found 22 blue eggs 22 blue eggs you guys so we found a nest a hidden nest. <laughs> Ellie, get out of that pool! Oh my gosh. Oh, look how cute. He's scared of you, Gabby, because he, he's not used to you. Isn't that funny? You bring one stranger into the field and he gets all puffed up. He's so pretty, though. Hi, Clara. Hi, baby. Are you Clara? I think so, yep, because she's dark. Or anytime we're with the chickens, Ellie protects me because she thinks hey, that the roosters that. are gonna attack me because. Get the turkey, get him. Sophie thought she saw eggs down there. Now she's afraid of the Run rooster. Run out of them. The no, thing is, if you don't turn, turn away from them, they won't chase you. I'm gonna get into a fight with them. And, and then Ellie's gonna get involved. Look at him. And Molly's gonna run away. Gobble. Yeah, he's really cute. I love him. So that's where they found the nest. It before? It's so yeah, it's so visible. 22 eggs in there. I don't know. It was a lot. 20 maybe. I know I saw them going under there. I'll include a picture of the eggs that we found. We didn't eat them. We destroyed all of them. I cracked them all open and dumped them down the sink, but. Most of them are good, but some of the ones, if you can still see in the picture, they have a little bit of black on them. That was actually mold, and it was like Wait, coming I wanna, from. I want to feel this. Stand still. Oh, that's weird. I don't like it. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Um, I'm going to go in and groom, do my monthly grooming of Ruby and Ellie. Me and this will be my last summer groom for them. We're going to go find a fair. You're going to go to the fair? There's a fair today? No, on the weekend. But, anyways. It takes a long time, so I have to set aside like a big amount of time, a big block of time. And today's the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Don't you know that you're beautiful?